Let's balance the equation for Cr plus Cl2 gives us a CrCl3. This is chromium, this is chlorine gas, and this is chromium-3 chloride. So the first thing we do when we're balancing equations, we count the atoms up. One chromium and two chlorine atoms. On the product side, we have the one chromium and three chlorine atoms. It looks like probably a good idea here is to get this to be an even number. And we can do that by putting a coefficient of two in front of the chromium three chloride. So one times two, that'll give us two chromiums. Three times two though, that'll give us six chromiums. Now we can fix the chromium because we have two here and one here. Put a two in front of the chromium, that's balanced. And for the chlorine, we need six. Let's put a three here, two times three. That gives us six and we're done. In this equation, it's balanced. If you want to know the states, we'd have solid chromium, that's a metal, chlorine, that's a gas, and then chromium chloride, chromium three chloride, that is also a solid. The type of reaction here, we have these two things coming together to form one thing. So the type of reaction is going to be combination, also called synthesis. You could say that this was a redox reaction as well because both chromium and chlorine, they change their oxidation states. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Cr plus Cl2 yields CrCl3. Thanks for watching.